Welcome back. Rock Forever. We got a very special guest. He's got an amazing story. I can't wait to see it made into a movie. He is the singer for 13 years now of the incredible group Journey. Please welcome Arnel Pineda. Hey, to all the listeners out there, Rock Forever. This is Arnel. How we you got doing? It. We got to Rock Forever. <laughs> what an amazing story. I mean, I know it was a challenging childhood, you know, there in the Philippines. And I know yeah. early on, by 14, you were a couple of years in the street. What do you think that experience? No, not not really, not really a couple of years, sir. Uh, it's 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 almost it's almost about a, almost a year. But, you know, I was like about just you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as soon as as soon as my dad, my father decided, you know, to to get separated with us because he he on uh he can only afford to take care of to take care of my uh, my uh, two younger siblings. So I mean. I don't know what to say back then, and then I just said okay, but I'm I'm gonna stay here for a while, you know. I mean, around around the neighborhood, and and you know, see what happens to me. And so so there, I I would oh you know I, I would I would sleep outside the houses of my you know my my uh, my childhood friends there, and you know and and then maybe you know just go in a like like in a funeral uh, place and uh, sing for for a biscuit and a and a cup of coffee, you know, like that, you know, just just to get by. So. So things like that happened to me when I was homeless. So I mean, it's it's, it's um, to tell you uh, to tell you what, brother. Uh, I I'm not the only one who has a story like that back here in the Philippines. It's just, it's a lot of that case, like you know, like me, you know, was was experienced, uh, you know, uh, what I have experienced. So uh, yes. it's 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 kind of it's kind of an eye an eye opener, especially to the first world. You know, I mean, you know, the, I mean maybe. Some of the people from the first world, they, 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 they don't, uh, I mean, how do you say that? How they don't, uh, they don't know how to, to comprehend with that, right? I mean, it, it's, 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 it's a different, like, it's a different universe for them. And, you know, I mean, and I'm, I'm sure, you, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you, you would, t- you would tell yourself that, you know, I, these these are uh, these experience i don't want it to happen to me you know and then and, and then but uh the good thing about it is so, you know i mean uh, with us and then with us who, who were able to you know to survive it it it, it made us stronger and and you know i mean um uh, it made us you know it made us uh, a fighter a warrior you know with life in, in life and uh, you know and and anything that that is happening now like you know with whatever bad or no no matter or however bad it is, like you know, we just like you know, we just we just shrug our shoulders, move on, fight. You know, if we're down, we get up, and you know, and then and do it again. You know, like you know, just it is how it is with us. You know. Yeah, I know it. It builds character, and and you're always prepared. Yeah. You know, if a challenger rises, you 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 meet yeah. it head on. You know, you don't buckle yes. and fold. Well, I would yes. love to find out how you fell in love with. American music, you know, English speaking music. Oh my God. Obviously, you started singing all these great American artists. Was it the radio or TV? Where and who did you it fall It was the radio, the but it was the radio, sir. But uh, I was five years old. But then, but then it wasn't American music first. It was, it was, it was British, British music, the Beatles first. And then eventually the American music, it's because of that song, Hard Day's Night. I was five years old. My mom and I remember my mom and my, uh, my, my auntie, uh, they were dancing with it, you know? So, and then I was lying on the side, you know, like of the room. And then I was just watching them, enjoying them, you know, I mean, singing and dancing with the song, you know, that, that's, that's how I remember it uh, vividly. And then, and then after that, you know, I started, I started uh, listening to, uh, to Jackson Five, you know, and then Barry Manilow, uh, my God, uh, Nat King Cole, uh, ooh, uh, Matt Monroe, you know those, <laughs> and and uh, the uh, my God, and Frank Sinatra because my, my dad, my dad, my father, he 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 loves Frank Sinatra so much, and um, and Engelbert Humperdinck, and then eventually my mom uh, turned me to. Uh, to uh, Carpenters and Barbara Streisand, and so I would sing along with her every time. Every time that she's in the mood to uh, to sing, to sing a few, you know, when especially when when they're on the radio, you know, the songs of Carpenters and Barbara Streisand, you know, she would call me out and then you know sing with me, you know, like that. 
And then when I joined the band for the first time after being homeless for like uh, almost, almost a year, the, the, the guy was helped me hugely, you know, for, for not, for not, you know, to be not be able to, to you know, to go hungry for like for long days. Uh, you know, his name is Dennis, thank, you know, may he rest in peace. He passed away last year. Um, he was, um, you know, he, he introduced me to this band called Iho. So that was, that was the turning point for me. I've never, I've never looked back. I've almost, you know, unless in my downtime, I've never looked back like, like, you know, listening to, uh, to those, uh, to those music again. And I start, I, I got turned on to rock and roll this time, American rock and roll. Yeah, it's that's what let's, let's yeah. call it Western music because the U.S. and England we have this love affair, you know. The Beatles oh, were yeah, influenced okay. by the American blues okay. and R and B artists, and we went I back know, and forth over the pond. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I I think uh, we it's it's very evident with uh, Led Zeppelin, and you know, right? They they they're like they're into blues, you know, which which started like in way back like in like I don't know 1700s, 1800s in 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 America, right? Yeah, they, they, they idolized, you know, the Willie Dixons and the Muddy Waters yes, and the yes, Little Richards and yeah. Chuck Berry and yeah. all, all these greats. Miles Miles Davis, you know, that was. Yeah, it's it's such a yeah, rich, it's, it's, rich love affair, I know, you know. I know. And, and you know what? You know what? Uh, uh, you can say or I can I can on, I, I honestly say that, you know, uh, uh, it's 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 not it's not. Uh, it's not impossible to, to, to really fall in love with you with your music because it's really it's really that good and you know it, it at some point it made me so jealous and envious you know that oh my gosh oh my gosh uh, how, how did they come up with you know with with the with with the kind of music that you guys had like you know like, like it's so rich it's so good it's it's like you know it's so intelligent it's it's just i don't know it's it, it takes you to world you know and then and then it's that's that's my relationship with you guys, you know. Like through through your music, you know, it 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 made me sur you know, I survived the hard life because of because of your music, you know, and because of my voice, of course. Because I, I wanted to sing all of all of your music every time that I'm sad, I'm confused, or you know, just just in the mood of you know to to sing it, you know, alone. Yeah, well, I, I know by 88, you had won a final by singing, of course, Bohemian Rhapsody. So you obviously yeah. loved our, our fellow Virgo, you know, Freddie Mercury. Talk yes, about yes, falling in it. love and being able to sing Queen. He's, he's one of my favorites. I'm telling you, he's like, you know, um, like as much as I fell in love with Mr. Steve Ferris' voice, I really fell in love with, you know, Freddie Mercury's voice. So, you know, it's like, and Rob. Robert Plant, Ann Wilson, you know, John Farnham, John Lennon, Paul McCartney. But I mean, with, with Freddie Mercury, it's like, oh my God, just one word that he would sing, you already know. That's how this thing, uh, Mr. Freddie Mercury's voice is. Just one word that he would like, even like, you know, just like a vocalization of, you know, like, you know that it's, it's him, you know? So, and it's, it's, it's just, it's just heavenly to you know to, uh, to 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 listen to his voice. You know, I mean, with with with, with Queen and and I, mean, I know, I mean, they they have such they have such over amazing amazing catalog of songs. You know, over the years that they've you know they, they've they've worked on together, and uh, it's like one of my one of my most favorite album of them is the you know you, you know the uh, what's that is that the opera thing where Wayne yeah, Rhapsody the Love opera. of My Life. Yeah, and the night of the opera. Yes, got a CD of that, and I think I think somewhere I got a vinyl of that. So, my God, I wish you know. I wish I wish I wish he's still alive. I mean, he he's still alive to these days, you know. So so I could watch him perform with the band, you know. Well, I know you and I, as long with Freddie, celebrate every September fifth. So every time we have a birthday, we think of Freddie. And we think, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Incredible. Oh my God, I, I can't help but think about it. Really, every time, every time, you know, I, my, our birthday, you know, comes, you know. I can't. Very, very, very special music, and it's so timeless. When you listen to a Queen album, it doesn't sound dated at all. You can't tell 
no. if it was recorded no. or if you heard it a million times, it still sounds fresh and vibrant. These these music, Queen, Journey, Led Zeppelin, Beatles, they're immortal. You know, I mean, they're and then because of these, I mean, these guys who produce this their music, you know, them, they they were immortalized because of you know because of their music. It's it's you know what? Even if one thousand years has passed from now, people still gonna listen to their music. I'm telling you. I mean, I, I that's 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 how I feel. Yeah, you could put it in a time capsule, and some other planet yeah. or some other era will will pick it up and listen to it and and be excited oh my God. and entertained. They're, they're go nuts. They're go nuts. You know, I mean, they're. I'm telling. You. <laughs> they 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 would want to look for like like what what planet is that we need to go there and see this you know and listen to these bands you know live and then you know <laughs> it's, sure. it's such a treasure you know and, and yeah, speaking of that as, as we get to your christmas song i know you were inducted in the rock and roll hall of fame with the, no i'm not with the i did not i did not <laughs> well you, you were they, they there you were a part of it I was there yeah you were yeah, a part I'm, of it you know with I Neil had, Sean had and, the, and Jonathan. Yes, I had the honor. You, you, I had you the sang honor for Steve Perry. Tell, tell us oh about that God. night. I wish I wish he was the one singing with the band, you know. Um, it would have been a dream come true for me, you know. It would have been a dream come true for me, but, but you know, it's 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 it I was I was I, I was kind of bummed that he did not he did not want to do that. But uh in many ways, well, he was so gracious and generous to meet me and he was so kind. You know, and, and and the way he looked at me, and then I looked at him. He was, he was. The meeting was so was so honest. It was so sweet. It was, it was, it was, it was so real. And uh, and, and and the way he, you know, the way he thanked me in front of you know a sold out crowd in Barclay Arena is something I can never ever forget. You know, so it was it like you said, it's precious. Yeah, very very precious time. And as we celebrate yeah. the holidays, I know Philippines, as everyone has gone through so much this year with COVID, but the volcano and the typhoon. Um, tell us about your new holiday song, This Christmas, A Beacon of Hope, and what, what that means to you and what you hope that that song does. Well, you know, that song is um, it's a message of hope. It's a message of freedom. It's a message to everyone to be that little Santa to strangers were homeless, were underprivileged, were, you know, were, were was going through uh, some really tough times. Uh, uh, I think we, the, we people who can afford to do, to do that for them is just, you know, I mean, it, it, it's us all about it. You know, uh, I'm telling it to myself, I'm singing it to myself and I'm singing it to you guys, you know, it's like an appeal to, to help in any, in any way you can, you know, to, to, you know, to take notice of these people, you know, it, it could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your sister, your brother, you know, your relatives or, you know, or just, you know, just a regular guy there, you know, like was, was really having a rough, a rough time these days, you know, I mean, it's, it's been really bad, especially here in the Philippines too, but then, and I know, I know right now they are in the, in the, in the U.S. too, it's, 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 you know, the politics is not so good, the pandemic, it's, it's even, it's even got worse, it's even, you know, it got even worse, you know, so, I mean, it's, I hope, I hope all of us would, you know, would, 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 uh, you know, would do our best to be, to be these little Santas to, you know, to everybody who, is, who needs it, you know, that hope, that freedom, that gift of friendship and, you know, brotherhood and sisterhood, you know. Well, we can use all that we can get and we look forward to the new Journey album that you're working on and our nailpaneda.com yes, yes. is Excited. where you can find out more about the Christmas and the holiday song. Thank you. 